Hello and welcome back to this Trails into Reverie Let's play with me, SLJRPG In the last episode, well, we did some searching around uh, Heimdallar Eventually getting Elliot with us as well And learning a whole bunch of stuff that might prove useful About military goings on behind the scenes But we think there may be something appearing In Reen's pocket Something feels strange. Choosing the path will continue the main story to advance. It will also not be possible to go any further in Reen's story for a brief period. Proceed. Is something wrong? It's probably nothing. I just got a weird feeling. It's like something is in my pocket that wasn't there before. And thus, a another... What's this? That's a weird looking mirror. Since when did you carry one of those around? Since never. This isn't mine. Just ended up in my pocket somehow. Are you certain? I doubt anyone could slip something in your pocket without you noticing. Nothing gets by Reen. I don't know have a clue how this got here. But there has to be a reason behind it. Though I can't imagine it connects in any way to the prince's disappearance. What's happening in Crossbell? But... What? What's happening? The conditions have been met. The road to where all may gather, to where destiny avails itself, just at the horizon, is open. Come, and sink into an illusion that mirrors the real world, and extols its endless possibilities. Into the Reverie. It's the garden. Oh, I loved Trails into into the Trails in the Sky Part Three. So this is what this feels very reminiscent of. What just happened? What? Where are we? It's some sort of white garden. Never seen anything like it. I'm getting the feeling there's more to this place than meets the eye. I mean, what kind of garden is surrounded by floating books? Yeah, I'm not sure where we are, but it doesn't feel like the world we know. Wait, how do we even get here to begin with? That's a good question. I can't fathom how we came here either. I can't recall what I was doing before I ended up here. I feel as though we were together but before we arrived, but beyond that, we haven't the slightest clue. Uh, well, just isn't this great. Feels like something is blocking out my memories of before we got here. Actually, it's worse than that. It's not just my memories of right before. It's gonna be a pretty good reason I was hanging around with you guys. But it beats me what it is. At least we're all on the same page too. I feel fuzzy. I've been trying to I've been trying my best to recall what's going what I was doing earlier today, but nothing's coming to mind. My best guess is that we were working together for some reason. I'm not sure why. Regardless of how we got here, I think it's safe to assume it's affected our memories. Agree. Standing around being confused isn't going to answer any questions. We should have a look around and see what we can find. So do I. If nothing else, we need to know if this garden is safe. We may find clues as to how we arrived here. Sounds like we got a plan then. Oh, don't forget there are two floors to this place. Let's check them both out. Well, god fucking damn. Here we are as Lloyd. I mean, this is the obvious thing. <coughs> the mirror... Give me one sec. Oh, I was just dying there for a second. Just out of nowhere, a massive cough fit came across. So hopefully that won't happen again, but this mirror is enormous. It looks remarkably similar to this one. You're right, it's though the smaller mirror is a fragment of the larger one. Come to think of it, I'm surprised they can remember you even having that mirror. I do too, though I can't remember what it, what it is or why Lloyd has it. Actually, did you work something out? We didn't go that far. But I remember something that's common in Eastern folklore. It said mirrors with evil spirits in them call, can cause strange phenomena. 
It made me wonder if the sword perhaps has some kind of strange power in it. If that's how it's, and that's how we were all brought here. It's pretty spooky, but just as good a guess as, as any at this point. This place is so weird that I wouldn't, wouldn't possibly rule out anything as a possibility. Yes, I can feel something strange coming off it, but I'm not doing anything about it for now, at least. Maybe it'll kick on if there's something if we do something else around here. You saying it could have conditions? If that's the case, discerning these conditions could be the key to getting out of here. Let's continue to look around. Interesting indeed, right. There's a sub-event here, so let's see what this is. It's large fish, it's floating in the air. What could it be? I've never seen anything like it. The pattern on the surface kind of resembles one of the... the one on this place's walls. The place on the platform in the middle makes it seem important. It doesn't appear to actively be doing anything at the very least. Yet another mystery to be solved. Let's push it back to the back of our minds for now. And remember it's here. Indeed it is. Okay. A whole bunch of stuff. Can I... Can I go to another... Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. In these areas. So we'll go up here first. Let's go to this one first, because it's the optional one. Okay. What do you... A good stone monument, starting to come together. You figured something out? 100% certain that I don't have a clue what's going on now. <laughs> Three years later and he hasn't changed a bit. We're back to square one. So the tree, last time this could heal you. I know this is a garden, but part of me still wasn't expecting to find a tree. Let alone a splendid one as splendid as this. It seems so out of place. It seems like on a broadleaf. Never seen one with leaves of bark and branches like this before, though. It's like something else entirely got reshaped into the form of a tree. An interesting perspective. Now I'm even more confused. Let's just agree there's something unusual about it. Though it doesn't make any difference from different from the garden as a whole. We can't roll it out being placed here for more for more than just decoration. The smiles are playing tricks on me. I'm sure it's glowing. The more we explore, the more mysterious, mysterious this place seems to be. So that's all we can do is keep poking around. Yes, I do remember this being a healing tree, if it's the same style of, um, of fantastical stuff as the other one. A door. Some kind of door. It's unusually large. I wonder what it's doing here. It seems entirely out of place. You could say that about the books floating around, too. Been thinking about those ever since we arrived. There's something about them that's very disturbing. No kidding. And what's stranger is I can't make out, make out any of the titles in the books. No matter how hard I look either. It's a mystery in of itself. So obviously this isn't the same one as the other one. But that one did have a little library section in it. So maybe maybe this is a blown apart version of this? Who knows. Right. Okay. A stone pillar. Some kind of device? The mysteries continue to pile up. There's another one over there as well. Probably holds significance. Let's go check it out. This one's pretty similar to the other, but something's different about it. It does seem that way. There must be some reason there are two of them. Safe to assume they're connected. They're likely related to whatever the place purposes is. <clears throat> if, only, if only we knew whatever the heck it was. Hopefully we'll figure something out if we keep looking forward. Looking around. What the fuck is this? A globe on some kind of pedestal. I only assume this is meant to be used for something as well. Something important by the looks of it. <sighs> no reaction. Whatever this thing is, it's not on at the moment. It's like a relic or something, given the feel of this place. Not to say for sure, though. Now that you mention it, the garden does seem to resemble an ancient ruin of sorts. Just one problem with the theory. Yeah, everything seems too new. It's not a speck of dust on this pedestal. Looks like it was made five minutes ago. 
Then why isn't it active? I just can't think think of several possibilities, but they're all just conjecture. Guess we should keep looking around. Before investigated further, but weren't able to find anything new useful. Eventually they returned to the plaza where they first arrived to discuss the next move. I think we've seen all there is to see around here. Unfortunately, I still don't have a clue what this place is. Likewise, everything we've inspected has just left us with more questions. I wish we still had our memories from before. I imagine that would fill in several gaps. Still, there wasn't no we weren't haven't learned anything useful at all. For one, we know that this place was created by someone or something. It's definitely weird enough to not seem real, but I think it's safe to assume it's got some kind of purpose. Beyond that, we know it resembles some kind of garden or ruin, but if anyone's guess as to what that is intended to be. There's also all these devices we came across, but none of them are active. That leads us right back to square one. Well, let's agree that each detail is going to be more useful and to be useful information in trying to learn more. Above all, we need to learn why we're here. A new, a new story, story is in, is in motion. motion. Your, Your fate, fate is but is one, one thread, thread intermingled with many. many. Now, now, rise, rise from, from your, your slumber. slumber. That was a memory? Are you alright, Lloyd? Something came to me. Do you guys remember hearing a voice just before you coming here? A voice? Now that you mention it. If I remember hearing one, something strange about it. I kind of remember it. It's still pretty fuzzy, though. I wonder. Mission being just one thread among many. What does that mean? That sound. I remember hearing it before we came here. You've got to be kidding. Gah! Where are we? What the heck is going on? I don't recognize this place at all. Whoa! What happened? Did we fall into some kind of teleportation spell? No, that would not up. Reen, you called here too? Lloyd. Right, I feel like something brought us here. It's all I can remember. It's strange. I can't remember... Where we were, all what we were doing a few moments ago. Me either. What's really weird is that it doesn't feel like I was any sort of panic. I felt like everything was normal. The hell's going on? Were we even together before this? I could have sworn we had split up. I can't say for sure, but from what my insects are telling me as well. <coughs> Sounds remarkably similar to what we went through. I'm guessing we essentially experienced the same thing. Only difference is that they had to split us. They had split into two parties. When we're still called at the same time. Then the most logical thing to do now is to swap the info we have. So you suddenly found yourself in possession of a strange mirror you'd never seen before and heard a voice. You were right. That's what happened to us too. How did we experience the exact same thing so far apart? I guess as good as mine. Even us being unable to remember where we were before it before is the same. I would ordinarily refuse to believe in bizarre sequences of events, but it's impossible to refute so much hard evidence. My concern is understanding the why rather than the how. There must be a reason why we specifically were the ones brought here. I know what you mean. This is the last way I expected to see Lloyd and Nelly again. I wasn't planning on a sudden, re sudden reunion, but it's good to see you again, Juna. I'm sorry I'm not under better circumstances, but it's good to see you again, Juna, too. Same here. Juna continues to be a social butterfly, even in the strangest situations. Well, it just goes sh to show how genuine she is. She certainly is the real Juna. Still, if not a single one of us remembers where we were, what we were doing before we were called here. Yes, it's got to be by design. Something about this place blocks the recent memories of anyone who comes here. What other explanation can there be? But how can that be possible? Beats me. Let's face facts. It's the only thing that makes sense. I agree, it's the only reasonable explanation. Regardless of how we got here, we have to accept that this place is very unusual. Easier said than done. He's right. Let's not move past and focus on the bigger picture. We must consider what we should do next. My first instinct is to search for an escape rope. 
route so we can return back to wherever it, it was we were. But all you said you didn't have any l luck in tr luck during your investigations, yes? I'm afraid so. Hold up. What was that? Oh, the tree is growing. Well, what you look no. Looks like class seven coming here may have been one of the conditions. Conditions? You work something out? Maybe. It's only speculating. These mirrors were given might just be mm, these mirrors were we were given might just be fragments of a bigger hall after all. There's gotta be a third. If that's the case. It's Rain picturing it together too. I think we have a relatively good idea of the situation we're in. I won't mind getting a look around here for myself before we go any further. It might not help to work out who or what is responsible for all this, but I'd at least like to familiarize myself with our surroundings. Good thinking. Your stuff's changed since you first. You said your stuff's changed since you were first wandering around. Next in point. Well, come on. Let's see what's changed. The tree has changed. Trees glowing. The park looks weird. We thought the same, but it wasn't giving off light like this when we were here before. It feels different, though this tree is springing, springing with vitality now. Reminds me of something from a fairy tale. Do tell? Spirit trees, they're said to be shining branches and leaves, and they're filled with the manner that can heal the body and mind. There you go, healing tree. At least that's what I recall hearing about. Now you mention it, you used to read those kind of things all the time, didn't you? I suppose it does look something like that. Great. When we need it, more magical bullshit. What if it does the same thing properties properties as the tree at least described? It helps out a lot. It's worth giving giving a shot. I would say that was an accurate deduction. A relief. We don't know what this is, but at least we know it can heal us. Never seen anything like it in nature. Neither have I, but at least we have something to return to if injured. Knock, knock. I'm word, yeah, but... Knock, knock, uh, knock, I'm word, but yeah, you're right. The chairs. This device is activated as well. It's a little foreboding. I can make out the words glowing on it. The Millennium Trove. Commodities in exchange for currency. What's that supposed to mean? It's a vending machine. Guessing it somehow takes Mira. That would be convenient. That it would be, but who knows how long we could be here. Being able to resupply could be a boon. Alright, a shop. The Millennial Mille Trove. I'll put Starclips up to its name. We're having a much easier time accepting this is a reality than I am. It does take some getting used to. What about this device? Does it serve a similar purpose? I imagine so. The Blazing Forge. Aided Septian Principles. A little vague, but do you think it's possible for us to modify ornaments here? Be helpful, but... This, is, this one is even more ominous looking than the other. Maybe it's because it confirms that there are dangers lying ahead of us. That sound again. Guessing we managed to satisfy another condition. I wonder what it could be. Ah, the orb. Food process complete. Construction of the Reverie Garden administered space complete. Beginning construction of the Reverie Corridor. Well, looks like a party's finally getting started. The voice sounds familiar, too. And people are about to learn the reason we're here. There may be a lot of interesting phrases. In what she said, but boot process and administered space, the reverie garden, most notably the reverie corridor. we are lying if it said it didn't ring a bell. Let's make our way to the central plaza, get a better look at what's changed. Right. My assumption is that C will get the rest of the corridor. 
The search from earlier is now active. New temporal space forged. This world was constructed by the Black Mirror. Its function is to present trials, allowing you to cultivate the strength to overcome great distortions in your destiny. The Black Mirror? I'm more concerned with what it means by trials. I'm guessing this thing governs the space we're in, meaning we were brought here to compete with whatever these trials are. Correct. This process is an emergency measure intended to correct the laws of causality. Your understanding may be incomplete due to forced limitations placed on your memories. The current sequence of events with Crossbell at its center has originated due to an impossible singularity. At this time, the chances of correcting this singularity are zero. It is for this reason that the Black Mirror has chosen to intervene. Uh-huh. Is this thing even speaking our language? Confirms our memories truly are being tampered with. No wonder we, we couldn't understand what was happening. I'm as lost as anyone else. From the sounds of it, the Black Mirror is looking for us. It's looking out for us. You mentioned something bad happening in Crossbell. Is she gonna remember? I love of what I s it said flew up my head, but I understood the gist of it. Saying that it'll help us fight against whatever's happening in the real world. Now that you mention it, so I interpreted it as, well, it as well. It's exa how exactly is it going to achieve that? Next in question, especially given that we're not permitted to remember everything that's happening on the outside. Strength gained here has been approved for use outside of the Reverie Corridor, even if new memories have been denied. Challenging the true Reverie Corridor to better your strength is required. Only then will the possibility to defy destiny be within your grasp. Well, okay, that clears up some of our suspicions, but there are still things, some things unanswered. True, but if we confirm something important, this place exists to make us stronger. It's up to us to determine how much strength we gain, or whether we'll be strong enough to change the fate of what fate has in store for us. It simplifies things if you ask me. Indeed, we're only left with one option. Rise to the challenge, both for ourselves and the homes we came from. And this is just as much to do with us judging with us judging by it being named the True Reverie Corridor. Agreed. Which we obviously have been down. I can shake the feeling that this place was seeming familiar to me. Still, I don't know what the true part signifies just yet. When you said the name rings a bell. Brings back a lot of memories. Sounds like this version is here to pump us up and get us ripped. Our own secret training ground. Could be rather useful. We love all people and things we want to protect us from the outside. Yes, and we know each... And we each know the kind of strength it takes to overcome the impossible. So let's get to work and gain the strength we need. It is for that reason I and the Reverie Garden exist. Access to the first stratum has been granted. So it's going to be like side missionaries? May you seize the ability to overcome the impossible over the course of your trials. Talk about hospitality. It's finally opening up for us. Let's take this opportunity. Right. There's too many people for me to do voices, so we can do the first stratum, basically. Lloyd and Rena required. We can only take three other members. God, God, Gordy, damn it. If I go random, there isn't a random here. Okay. I mean, the. I should. Who should I take? Well, we haven't really used Elliot yet, so I feel like using him. We'll take a... We'll take a Kurt for that, and then the wild card option. Should be Claire? It's very... I need to take a... There we go. That's what we're doing. Party member two. We can access party formations inside the river corridor. And they will be consolidated. The new notebooks have been... Nice. So our notebooks have been kept the same. 
Looks like everyone is taking the chance to get more familiar. Let's probably check to make sure we have everything we need before challenging the Reverie Corridor. Never thought I'd hear that name again, but here we are. And again, this place seems a lot different than before. They were really one and the same? Either way, it's pointless to worry about that right now. I need to focus on what's going on right in front of me and what I can control. I am not Rain. Connecting to Reverie Garden Database. Additional information, visitors advice to conduct themselves in such a manner that better allows the Reverie Corridor to fulfill its intended purpose. A series of criteria of the device effectively to administer this process. Okay. No need to have explaining these explanations. Judging us placed in a set of criteria and rewarding us for meeting it. Okay. Reverie points and liberation rank. You'd be yes, we've been getting RP. Your rank will increase with a certain amount of RP. If you have to claim a reward from the core, as your time increases. Nice. There are ten ranks ranging to G. So let's report Confirming RP. Confirming rank in. points accumulated. Liberation nice. rank unchanged. I mean, that's good that we've got that. Though this thing is very confusing. The sphere is no longer responding. It does feel like it's got its own sense of self. The two protectors. Uh, we're gonna do the core again in, in a second, I guess. Uh, though I do want to. I'm gonna go up here. Let's do this Blazing first. Forge activated. Certain shops are out to character systems are displayed. Nice, so we can actually do this. Start getting everyone we want weapons to a better spot. Nice, nice, nice. Ixion. Okay, equip. We've got all of that done. Customize sports, I don't want to really care that. Dismantle equipment. It can break it. It can break stuff. Interesting. That is undeniably quite handy. Um, right. Three for those. I've only got one here. I'm going to do one for you there. Elliot. can get that one done, so we're going to do that. It, green's not available. Blue for you, but I think that's probably more handy for someone else. Wait, I'm going to see if there's a dark, if someone else with a dark one here. Then yes, we're completely getting that done now. Blue not ready. Not ready for that one. Not quite ready for that one. Green. No, no, no. Not ready for this one. Not ready for that one. I mean, we can do it with Elise, and I can do one for Elise there, and then one for Kurt here. So let's just do that. And then anyone else, Juno might have a. a who would have a stone one? Definitely get that for you. Love that for you. Okay, and I think that might be it that I can get right now. Probably should have tried to do one of Claire's more, but that's fine. Then we'll don't have any separate mass. We'll take that. Initializing trading process. The trove is good. We can exchange items here. Good to know. Consumables and ingredients. Buy costumes and misc items. Uh, I'm kind of okay without all of them. Buy equipment. Buy. All of these are just going to be stuff that we've already got on anyway. Any of these going to work? Okay. Funnel jackets, etc. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, they've got 
only only once. So brave jacket. Obviously going to equip that to Lloyd. Clarity coat is for Ellie. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and equip everyone with all of these. Phantom Phoenix is for Rixia. Vice coat for your boy Reen. Come on, let me go back to the funnel jackets, please. I'm going to ignore all of these for now. Okay, there's a lot of these. I'm going to go ahead and buy them all, but I might just do it. Oh, actually, no, fuck that. I'm not going to draw off screen. Juna. Bye. For Juna. White vest for Kurt. Altina. Muse. Ash. Classical. For Elliot, who's more up here. Because I haven't really used them yet, and I wanted to get that one done. Usis is more down here. There he is. Lively wear, Milium. I find it interesting they've each got their own ones or versions of these things. XL jacket for Claire. Claire's was more up here, right? There we go. And an Imperial suit for Lecter. Who does seem like he's sticking around now, which I find very interesting. Right, Raging Boots. Adele Boots for Ellie. Chronos Lever for Reen. Excel Lever for Yuna. Glad we got all the monies. Chevalier Boots for Kurt, who's in the team, so he'll be up here. Dark Leggings for Altina. I've just realised I've not got anyone with uh, a need to take Altina for the... Actually, no, I don't need to take Altina anywhere. Um, I was going to say for the... Um, Oh no, I've got, I've got, I've got fucking Elliot to do my detectoring. That's fine. Perfect. Chivalry leather. Rabbit holes for Milliam. Magnolia boots for Elise. Take all boots for Claire. Uh, Mies leather for Lecter. If they're available at a, at a decent amount, I want to use all of them. Nice. Sell. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good thing. Boom. Sell all of these. Sell all of these. Thank you very much. I'll take that. And then buy Curious. Buy. Sepia faceplate. I mean, we could do that as your night set, a costume designed after Ordeen. I don't really care about any of these for now. What I would like to know is if there's books that I've missed. Would be nice. I would like to buy books. But seemingly not for now. Okay, we've used that part at the very least. Uh, don't have to worry about that. This is going to open up at some point. Undeniably. Speak to these two. Shouting to the void. Yeah, having Guy Cinema here would be very handy. But that, you know, and then Lecter. Have these two haven't met before, right? Mm. Is something the matter? I can't believe the person before me is legendary Yin. Even after seeing you in this Eastern attire, it's hard to imagine you as the literally Zhao Shu. Let's just say, Yin can take many forms. I've heard about you from Sully in the SSS. It'd be an honor to fight alongside you. Feels like I should be. <laughs> I feel like. That should be my line. Hopefully I can learn a thing or two. One does hope. One does hope indeed. Right. And then one last thing before we leave.
We've got some quartz here that may be useful to other people. But not for us right now. The only ones we've got available are Silverthorn, a Curia, and a thing. Anyone here with a Curia equipped? Elliot might have a Curia equipped, right? Or Shield 2 for one of these. I'd probably take a, a Curia there for you. At least, even though I'm not going to use you. Sorry, you can probably hear my dog. We're getting ready towards the uh, dinner time. Now, this might be... It might be actually be time before we even head in to the corridor, which I'll do next time. Uh, we'll do that next time. But I'll say, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we do our first stratum. Peace.